Hello, welcome back. As you can see, the trailer's finished. I've still got a little bit of weathering to do on it, but uh, I'm not too bothered about doing a video before I do that. Um, basically, because I've got all the equipment out, so I might as well do it now. And it's been a bit of a challenge, as I say, with the, the whole kit's been a bit of a challenge. But that's that's why we do it, isn't it? You know, it's not just for the end product; it's it's getting there. That's uh, it's a journey as well, so they say. So what have I got done? Let's take it off there, because that'll drive me bonkers. And what I've got basically, you can see all the lights are working on it. I'll talk more about those in a second or two. As I mentioned on the on the last video about the trailer, move one of the spare wheels and put it up on top of the. The castle there, the um, the fifth uh, the fifth wheel pin, king pin if you wish, and the other one. There was a, according to the instructions, they both go underneath here. But I think if you do that, it doesn't look as as real as it does. If you as real as it is, if you look at all the trailers of these, uh, the pictures of these trailers and videos when they're in service, there's always one up there. I think I explained last time. But, if you've ever driven one you really don't want to be jacking massive trailers like this up to get a spare wheel out from underneath um, carry on with the top first most of it goes together really quite easily um, as I've explained on, on the last video I've decided I'm going to make the top of this wheel arch a lot dirtier so I've done one side but not the other the videos I've seen of this in real life, there's not a lot of rust on them, there's not a lot of dirt on them either. They're grimy but not, not dirty if you know what I mean. So there's bits of rust underneath the, uh, the guides for the, the tracked vehicles to go on. That's why they have steel deck trailers because they have the guides in place. If it's a civilian trailer and it's uh, carrying tracked vehicles, there are normally wooden decks on it so it doesn't slide as easily. Steel on steel, as I'm sure you're aware, slides all over the place. On the back, there are two long vehicle signs. I, th I think I mentioned on the last video, in the instructions it implies that you would stick these ramps so that they're pointing upwards. But in real life that's not true. The, the long vehicle sign on a British road has to be sticking out the back and has to be clearly visible at the back. They're very carefully, very kindly, etched long vehicle into the plastic if they had done it just a little bit deeper it would have been absolutely fantastic but it's not quite deep enough to write it on to paint the thing yellow as it should be and then write fill the, the, the trench with the long vehicle in in black so I'd sprayed it and it was green originally so what I've done is I've sandpapered the, the green paint off and it's left long vehicle back on the back there it's actually in green but I don't think it matters that much the two reflectors on the top are obviously red they're, me they're meant to be red and you can see the lights all along the back they need a bit more paint on them that one does certainly and I think this one does as well so there are all the lights on the back the the guide posts on the uh, for the track vehicles going up the side there there were a couple of extra ones, I couldn't find out where you put them, so I put them at the front here, seems like a logical place. You can pick those things up and move them around as you want, but there doesn't seem to be much storage for them, you'd have to plant them in somewhere. All this has got to be weathered yet, and I'm going to put some chains in there, I'm going to see if I can find some scale chains and put those in there, make a, make a couple of dogs for the chains as well. Uh, that's about all I can tell you for the top of it. There's not a huge amount there. I mentioned the fire extinguishers on the on the last video, and that's where they go. That's where they live. And not a lot more I can say about that. The two lights that are sticking out here at the front, as I mentioned, the they I couldn't get them in, so I put an extra plate on. It's only half a mil thicker, and they were red at the back, and white at the front, as is per the, the law. These don't look orange on the video, but believe me, they are. They're orange, the marker lights at the side there. Another red light that comes on to match this one. And again, it's white at the front. These are the spotlights, the, the working lights. That I, may have, I, I did mention on the, on the last video of the, 
and the tractor unit and they're working lights so that you can see what's going on at the back here whether in real life or not they're on tele leads and you can you, you can take them off and shine them somewhere else I don't know I can't I can't fathom that out um, what else is there the winch is simple enough it's just a, a, a pole with a hook on the end basically underneath bit of muck on my tyre underneath fairly simple I'm not going to weather it, it never gets seen again and this is going on a not so much a diorama but a themed stand all painted obviously you've got to paint it all and you can see that the, most of the wires disappear in, inside there where it comes up to the the PCB it's a, it's a bit loud the wiring doesn't look as neat as I normally do it because I've had to put these bars in because what I, I hadn't banked on was that with this being so low down there if you look at it and all the wires are sticking out it would look horrendous so those, those bars that I've soldered in there may give me the, the option to flatten everything down make it look right the, leg, uh, the landing legs as I mentioned I've shortened them so that when it will stand up if you want to look, it, it display it un, uh, separated but when it's on the unit it's up a little bit so you've got about uh, half an inch of clearance between here and the road battery case just made a simple box and put a battery in it pretty easy really and that is about all I can tell you about this the switch is obviously for the the lights are in there one for the flashing lights on the back and one for all the other lights I know you wouldn't normally have the reversing lights on and all the rest of it but it was complicated enough to do it as it was um, I think that looks really quite good when it gets a bit more weathering on it only at the top here and uh, this bit here to match up with the other side bit more muck on it because that's where it, it would accumulate on there with the checker plate on it and it, the, the muck accumulates in the checker plate the rest of the trailer is smooth checker plate at the top the rest of it's smooth which tends to stay a bit cleaner so a bit more muck if you like muck and grime on there and we're away that is about it there's nothing else to go on it the next video i do on this will be when i've got the as i say it's not a diorama it's a themed base and what i'm hoping to do is a tarmac road and a grass verge a battered tarmac road as though it's it's out in a stick somewhere and see how i go never done it before but then again you always say you've never done it if you've never done it wouldn't you any questions any comments and any queries really uh, it'd be great if you leave them in the boxes below i will try and answer all that i can and it would be great if you could like and subscribe thanks very much for watching Tara.